headed to Bed Bath & Beyond to find a pad that I can um, sit in the bath on. That's how bony I am right now. Listen, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to enjoy a bath with a nice comfy cushion under my butt as well. Does it hurt you in the bath to sit on your butt? It's a little bit. And so I weighed myself yesterday at 110 pounds. Okay, so you need to get some five pounds on you. I need to get at least five pounds on me, so... Ten would be great. Ten would be amazing. So... It's not like you don't have an appetite, although that being said, I have noticed that your portions have been smaller. I'll recently. tell you what's happening. It's what's my jaw. I can't chew. Let me study it on top of my other stuff. I have to study for my citizenship. You need to help me. Um, when is that going down? <laughs> they just call me randomly. They That's... called you? No, no, they will call or they will email randomly oh, they'll call you. for me to go in and set the test. So you printed out the paperwork? I printed out the book, 63 pages. It's only 63 pages. So what kind of content is the... So it's the guide to Canada is basically what it the is. Guide to Literally, Canada. That's, that's pretty much what the book is called. So I have two nice comments on my plants healing. House plants for healing video. Yeah. Yeah. From who? Strangers. Strangers. Yeah. Dark. Two of them said, Thank you so much. I just learned a lot. And I was like, Yes. We're teaching people. I learn so much from YouTube myself, right? Definitely an owl. Thanks for sharing this video and your knowledge with us. See who is that? I hope you're having good days. That's somebody called Robin. Thanks, Robin. And then there's another one. I loved this video. I learned a lot, but I kill all plants. Okay. So no luck on the bath pillow. Nope. But we did find some organic prunes and a half-price dog bed. Piper's dog bed is ripped. See, she's been pawing at it lately. Digging? Yeah, I don't know what the hell's she's going been on. digging into her bed. It's like a new thing. No. You haven't noticed that? No. Well, there's holes in the bed. Yeah. Scan day. skepticism just because every every result has always went not the way that we hoped it would so when you get something good it's like it's like the bottle of champagne with the restaurant don't celebrate because the minute you celebrate you will jinx it you'll screw it up something will happen you know and that's really unfortunate because that kind of clouds the good news. We still have a bottle of champagne that we bought to celebrate getting the keys for the restaurant. It wasn't even, we weren't even open yet. We just got the keys in our hand.
double chin. <laughs> I'm just lying here having puppy enema, thinking so many things. I'm so overwhelmed by my blood lab results yesterday. And those tumor markers raise and rise and rise and rise. I'm home alone and I always hear these noises and it's fucking Halloween. It scares me. <laughs> um, well, those tumor markers rise and rise every time I have them tested. And um, I'm always like, well, they, the test, they're unreliable. They're the CA-153 and the CA-129 for those in the, in the know on the cancer markers test. I, I always tell myself they're not reliable, don't give it any power, they just keep rising and rising and it's not that big of a deal, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. But then I go and have a scan and actually, honestly, my scans have never been good. My scans have always shown progression. They've shown for the type of aggressiveness of this cancer, especially how aggressive the chemo made it and resistant that the chemo made it. Um, the cancer grows slowly, but it still is constant progression, constant progression. So I'm hesitant to celebrate those good numbers just yet because um, I'll need to see what the scan says. I was in the hospital having a scan. But I've got a rule with the, the good numbers. I've got a rule with the fact that I have been given a tiny little envelope of hope. And up till now, the only type of hope that I've ever even had, which is like sad and scary to say, is hope that I have created for myself, just and hope that I've created by finding other people who are succeeding in healing themselves, people with my own situation, people with who are worse off than me, and they've healed themselves. So I'm going to roll with my good news and be positive. My neck feels better today. So that's good news. And um, yeah, I'm just laying low. I've kind of spent the morning just um, tidying up after being uh, like my neck was so bad that I just haven't been doing much for the last couple of days. I've just kind of been lying low. Piper, what's the noises? Piper. What's the noises? What kind of guard dog are you? <laughs> Help me. Hi, Popsy. Oh, you're red. <laughs> I am red. <clears throat> in August, 116 in October. Holy shit, man! So I'm headed up to the hospital right now to... For those of you that don't know, that is an extremely, extremely it's a huge good drop. It's piece epic. of news. Yeah, it's the first good piece of news Two years. in the history of all of the breast cancer. <laughs> so how do I feel about this day? I have no idea, honestly. I didn't even know that I had this appointment until last night, like at five o'clock, and I was really tired from treatment. And I thought I had today off of appointments, and I thought that this appointment was next week, so it's Friday, and I was like, oh, I can't go to that, I can't go to that, I can't, and Scott talked me down from the ledge, and he was like, tomorrow is tomorrow, if you feel like shit, you don't go, you just cancel it and whatever, whatever. But I woke up this morning and then that, that was really good advice because I just was like, yeah, you're right, I'm in the moment. And then we had a fun night. We watched Survivor and we watched some Shark Tank. We had some laughs, we had a nice meal. And I woke up this morning, my jaw was killing me. Old news, I know, <clears throat> and I, I had those thoughts flooding into my head as soon as I woke up. I was like, first of all, oh, second of all, appointment. And then I was like, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's pouring rain outside. It's cold. 
I could really have a big black cloud over my head, but I was like, put the reggae music on, put the red lipstick on, put the big earrings on, love. Can you close the door? Put the t-shirt with the message on. Put all your crystal bracelets on. Put that on camera. Stop! <laughs> and go to your fucking appointment like a big girl and know that after those amazing blood lab results that this these scan results could be good too and if they're not good then you keep working like obviously obviously I'm going to keep working no matter what they say it's not going to change the path it's not going to change the goal it's not going to change the course <sighs> so that's where we're at this morning Before it used to cost like 75 bucks to fill up roll car. How much is it costing now? Uh, that was $59. Now granted gas is only 117 right now. Only $117. Which is still higher, but when we were we used to fill up the gas at $120 and it would be 75 bucks for a car. So there you have it. Now I'd much rather be plugging it in. But governments won't let us go all electric in the world. Because the economy My reggae music this morning was telling me a lot of different stories. What was your reggae music telling you? Well, it always tells me about political corruption and fight the man and stand yeah. up for your people. Yeah. And my people are cancer people. And I even was writing down, like I was scribbling down lyrics. So I'm not one of your people, is what you're saying? Well, of course you're one of my people. You're part of the fight, right? This is, this is from um, Peter Tosh. The um, song is called The Day the Dollar Die, and it's from 1975. The day the dollar die, no more corruption. The day the dollar die, no more corruption. The day the dollar die, people will respect each other. Don't let frustrations make you blue. Times are hard, I know that to be true. But if you pick yourself up, that's all you have to do. Like that is, <laughs> it's so simple. But it's from a time when they were desperate. There's always desperate times, right? But you just well, the gotta, point, well, I read the point of that is we don't need money, people. No, corruption, political corruption. But it's everything. We don't need money. Money creates greed. It creates wars. It creates all the problems that we have in this world. It's a big One life here, right? Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free our minds. You can tell everybody that the cancer is gone. No, it's not gone. <laughs> he loves he has. What did those paper results say? Those paper results say that your lungs are clear. Barely. Improved and resolved. Improved and resolved. Two words resolved. were in the scan. Which, for soft tissue, is incredible. We need work on the bones. We know this, but that's okay. My bones. You have cleared my bones your are, lungs. My bones need work. I helped you clear your lungs. I'm Thanks so much. Thank credit. you so much. But the reason why I say that is because I can help other people as well from my perspective. We can do this. We can help. We can do this. If I can do this, you can do this. If you can do if this, I can do this, you can do this. I can do it too. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you and you and you and you and you and you. And you. Anything is possible. Hashtag. We got this. So, people of the world. Unite! Um, I, I, I'm just trying to digest No, so bit. are we. So are we. Well, you know. we've already known for like two hours and we're still like looking at each other like, Scott's like, do you want to cry? I'm like, no. <laughs> I don't even know what I want to do. I'm just like, okay, good. Like, uh, finally. Yeah. Good. Wee! <laughs> okay, I'll, t I'll text you later and let you know what we're up to. Okay, sweetheart. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye, night. Bye, Scott. Bye. So, anyways. Good, good for you. Good for you. Good I know. I knew it was work. I knew it was possible. So I'm just gonna keep going and do the rest of it. 
Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, it's nice to have a boost. I'm not going to stop now. No way. Now is like a, the boost that I needed to hear that, that I'm actually, actually succeeding. And I knew I was succeeding because I feel good. But um, it's nice to have the test results telling me that I'm doing it. So. Well, fantastic, Fantastic. It's good, right? You have quite an amazing young uh, lady there, you know. I know. So what are you guys doing? I'm making cabbage rolls. Oh, very nice. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay, we'll talk to you soon then. All right, congrats, hon. Thanks, you're, Ted. Uh, you're just a wonderful woman. Yeah. Thanks, Ted. In small doses. Nice, <laughs> <laughs> great backup as well. Right, I'll talk to you soon, Dad. Bye. Love you, bye. Okay, bye for now, bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.